side that uh, would like to win, but uh, they have a weak chance against uh, Croatia. Hagenstam is the head coach of the German side, and uh, two changes compared to the last European Championship two years ago in the team of Hagenstam. Gielen and Chuk are the new players. And in the Croatian side, coached by Ivica Tutsak, there are two changes as well compared to the Barcelona's European Championships. Luka Bukic and Hrvoja Benic are the new faces in the team of Ivica Tutsak. Bujovacic and Angelo Shetka left out the team. And only one change compared to the last year's World Championships. Shetka out and Bukic in. And you can see the referees as well from Russia and Italy. So in Barcelona two years ago, Croatia managed to win the bronze medal in the semi-final. They lost against Serbia by a goal, two goals, uh, nine to seven. And for the bronze medal, they won against Italy by two goals, 10 to eight. Germany finished in the ninth place two years ago. In the group stage, they had a horrible match in the opening. Uh, day against Italy when they managed to score only one goal and they led 14 but after that they improved and against Georgia they won by a goal 10 to 9 and then they had a great match against Hungary and they managed a 4 for draw then in the playoff they lost against Greece and in the placement matches, they won against France and lost for the ninth place against the Netherlands. So it was uh, so they won against the Netherlands and they win the ninth place. But the Germans has already two gold medals back in 1981 and 89. Three silver medals and three bronze medals. The last time they managed to clinch a medal, it was in 1995 in Vienna. Croatia has only three podiums compared to the Germans. One gold, one silver and one bronze medal. As I said, the bronze medal came from Barcelona two years ago, the gold medal ten years ago in Zagreb, and uh, they have uh, the silver medals as well. Last year had a good year for Croatia. They won two silver medals and one bronze medal in the big tournaments. The Europa Cup final, they lost against Hungary. They won the silver in the World League Super Final. They lost against Serbia. And in the World Championship, they finished in third place after they lost in the semi final against Spain. But then they won against Hungary 10 to 7. And that was the last time when these two teams uh, meet in the World Championship in the quarterfinal. And Croatia won only by two goals, 10 to 8. Germany is wearing the white cap, Croatia is blue. And ever since the Croatia entered the scene, the two sides met frequently at the European Championships. The most highlighted clash was the bronze medal match in 1995, which the Germans won a bit surprisingly. But all together, Croatia is leading 4-2 in, aggreg in aggregate. 
with two matches finishing in a tie. And the last time when they met uh, in the European Championships, it was here in Hungary six years ago when it ended in a 10 to 5. Croatian team, Vukicevic. The first chance for Germany and the first goal for Germany. Scored by the number six, Maurice Jungling. defense from the Germans and only two seconds left on the shot clock and the shot saved by the post so Germany has a chance to increase the lead and as we can see so far today that uh, the top teams uh, had a slow start in the first uh, quarter just like Montenegro and Spain Maybe the same will happen with Croatia. The starting goalie for Germany is, of course, Moritz Schenka and Marco Biatz for Croatia. in the ball well but the shot from distance saved by Marco Biatz Croatia is fighting for the Olympic spot for this summer's uh, Olympic Games in Tokyo the three European countries are Serbia, Italy and Spain who have the Olympic spot. So Croatia would like to qualify from here. And of course, there will be one more chance for those teams who are unable to qualify because there is only one berth from the Euro. And there will be a world qualification tournament in uh, the end of March and beginning of April in the Netherlands, in Rotterdam. There is an exclusion. Number four for Germany, Julia Real. Her first major fall in this match. 
And a wonderful pass, and Shanka saves. I remember back in two years against Italy. And poor Moritz Schenko lets those goals in. And they will manage to score only one goal in that opening match. Ruling saved back for Germany. Restovic. Restovic again. Uh, one more shot from distance. And this time there was a touch. But this is a corner. Said the referee. Number six, Luka Bukic, who lost his cap, which is still on the water, in the half line. But he got the new one. Restovic. Gilan. Trying to pass to the center, but a good steal. Marco Biaz. Bukic. Benic. Under 10 seconds now. And there is the exclusion fall. It's quickly taken. The, and there is the Croatian goal. Scored by number 10, Josip Rilic. The first goal for Croatia in the European Championships here in Budapest. Actually, Budapest is not a lucky first place for Croatia. In 2001, they finished in the fourth place after they lost. Uh, the semi-final against Yugoslavia and the bronze medal match against Hungary. And six years ago, they finished in the fifth place because they lost the quarter-final against Italy. And then they won against Greece for the fifth place. Restovic. Holding the ball, and then he scores. Marian Restovic, the goal scorer for Germany. 29 years old. Have uh, more than 100 caps. And this is his third European Championships. Croatia is losing the ball again, and it can be a three on two for Germany. There is the exclusion fall. Six on five for Germany and have the chance to increase the lead to two goals. Only two seconds left from the quarter, and the save made by Marco Biaz.
Oli Morichenka is on 66%, almost 67. So now the second sprint of the match. And it seems like Croatia will win. And yes, it is. So now it's about the sprints. It's one all. Only five seconds left on the shot clock, and uh, Germany almost have the ball. Two seconds. And now Germany has the ball because the ref says there's a fall. And there is a turnover for now. And goal for Croatia, number two. The equalizing goal came from Lovera Milos. Rastovic passing to Real. Now the pass to the center position, and there is the exclusion. Number two, Marco Machan. And the shot saved by the goalie from Marco Stam. So it's a corner taken by Restovic. Restovic now to the center position, and I think it was in. There won't be a video replay and scored by Denis Strelecki. Germany is leading one more time. Now it's three to two. But they are checking anyway the, on the video if it was a good goal. And yes, it was. So Germany is leading one more time. And no goal for Croatia. Germans are fighting really well today. Actually, who thought, who would thought after the preparation tournament which they had in Montenegro in the beginning of January where they lost all their matches against Montenegro, France and Georgia. Where Croatia had a preparation match in uh, Zagreb against Russia. They won it by three goals. 
And before Christmas, they were in Australia, in Sydney. In an exhibition match uh, against Australia, and they won it. 12 to 11. And now they are equalizing again. The number eight, Andro Busilia. Team captain, his first goal in the match from three shots. Some changes in both sides. In the reaction of Ivica Tutsak. Forty-nine years old, that he's the national coach since 2012. the exclusion and a quick shot from the Croatians and no goal or it's Schenke has saved that Mara Jokovic now Germany has the chance to take the lead again Restovic Only five seconds left. Brestovic just passing to Chuk. And Germany is losing the ball. Shot from distance, and the first time that Croatia is taking the lead after this goal from Lovre Milos. He's second in the match from two shots. The Croatian number nine is in the national team since uh, 2018. So his first big tournament was the Euro in Barcelona. And he was the member of the World Champions uh, World Championship bronze medalist team last year. Jungling. Restovic, Real. There is a huge battle in the center position, and now there is the exclusion for the number two, Marco Machan, his second major in the match. Restovic. And back to him. And now trying to pass to the center position, but uh, from there, there was no goal. Dennis Eidner tried it, but it was far from the goal. It went wide, and the reaction of uh, Ben Reibel. And there is a turnover fall, so Croatia 
has the chance to increase the two goals, the lead. No chance for Moritz Schenkel this time. So in this quarter, is uh, Croatia scored four times and has conceded only one goal. And now the match turned in their favor. Jungling, Real, Restovic. Now Jungling and then Real and goal for Germany. Is the fourth goal for the Germans. Julian Real is the goal scorer. He's first in the match. And the reactions from the goalie and the head coach. Inclusion and it was a quick goal for Croatia. The goal scorer is Ante Vukicevic, who was the top scorer for Croatia two years ago with 14 goals, 26 years old. Croatia is leading now by two goals. Chuk. The wrong pass. And only seven seconds left on the shot clock. Trying a shot from distance, but it was an easy block for Andro Busilia. Twenty seconds left from the first half. And there is one more chance for Croatia to increase the lead to three goals. Exclusion from Germany, and there is one more power play goal for Croatia, scored by Luka Bukic. His first in the match. And at the end of the first half, Croatia is having a comfortable lead, three goals after the first. Bad half, uh, bad quarter, sorry. They were trailing by a goal. Now they are leading by three.
three years now since uh, 2017, but he was before the head coach for Germany for 12 years between 2000 and 2012. So he had five years when he would coach the German side. He has 321 caps for Germany when he was a player. And uh, he was the member of the Olympic bronze medalist team in 84, the World Championships bronze medalist team in 82, and the two times European champions. So he has wonderful results as a player, not as a coach. Has no medals. Now the Croatian side quickly moving the ball and then finishing after the rebound. The goal scorer is Andro Busilja. And it's number eight now for Croatia. The last time, six years ago, in here in Budapest, when the two teams met in the European Championships, it ended in a 10 to 5 for Croatia. I think today we will see more goals than that time. But can easily be a similar result. Thinking about uh, the difference between the two teams. Trying to pass to the other side, but there was a turnover fall. No chance for a fast break for Milos Chuk. A shot from distance, saved by the goalie, Marco Biat. And then Julian Real, penalized by the referees. So a team timeout called by Ivica Tutsak. Andro, Andro, hey, Mir, Mir, that's okay. okay. Hey, Lonas, Lonas, hey, Chavi, ponavljamo dvojku, momci, okay. Znači, ono što je najbitnije, da navučeš na sebe, da imamo duplo dodavanje sa Čavijem. Lonas, ideš prema vani, mrvicu, Andro, prati, Luka, onda pratiš ulazak. Ali bitno je, hey, Čavi, kad je primiš, da uđeš u liniju. Ajmo, ajmo, je okay. budi opasno. So Croatia is having the ball and on power play, six on five for them. Yeah, a wonderful play from Croatia. And scoring one more goal. This time number seven, Ante Vukicevic, who is the fourth best player in the world, according to Len. And with the Hungarian Marton Vamos from last year. So now it's Nine to four. Germans are trailing by five goals, just like the last meeting of the history of the European Championships six years ago. And 
and goal for Germany. Yeah, you can see the German women's team. And this is the first one for Ben Riebel. goal for Germany. From the extra player situation and uh, Croatia is with the ball trying to pass to the center but there could be a five meters penalty and yes it is. against Maurice Jugling. And goal for Croatia. Scored by Maro Jokovic, his first in the match. One of the top players in the world, Maro Jokovic, 32 years old, international for 15 years now. Two times world champion, one time Olympic champion, and one time European champion, oh, Maro Jokovic. No foul given by the referees. There is a chance for a fast break for Croatia. Three on two. Let's see what they can make it. A nice touch from Lucas Gielen. Probably he saved his team for a goal. Jokovic. Ah, goal. One more for Croatia. Beautiful shot in the bottom of the corner. Lovera Milos is third in the match. He's the top goal scorer today in this game. And no goal for Germany. And they almost missed the chance. Lovre. Lovre Milos. Lanchar. And the turnover fall. In this quarter, Croatia is leading by four goals to one. And the same for Biatz. Croatian goalie was the best player in uh, the world in 2017, according to Lan. And he's still 
one of the best goalie in the world. Actually, he had his uh, 29th birthday two days ago. Anna Schultz must go out with his second major. And Croatia has a chance to score. Passing the ball quickly again, but this time there is no goal. A chance missed by uh, Josip Vrilic. Shot from distance, just just too high. Came from Lucas Gielen. And there is a turnover fall again. So Germany get the ball. It's a Tutsak is really not happy with the decisions of the referees. Must be a fast break because there is a two on one situation. And there is the goal for Croatia. Score number four, number three, Loren Fatovic. His first. Only Marco Machan. Luca Lonchar and uh, Xavi Garcia has no goal on the Croatian side. Save made by Biatz. Milosh. Bukic. Exclusion from Germany. The third major for the number four, Julian Real. We must out with substitution. And it's in. Goal number 13 for Croatia. The goal scorer is Loren Fatovic, his second in the match. And the Croatian side has the chance to score the 14th goal. This is uh, Jokovic. The pass. And the goalie saves. Moritz Schenka, the German number one. 29 years old already, the German goalie. His fourth European Championships, and the shot goes wide. 
needed to shoot because there is only one second left from the quarter. And this is how it ended. The third one, it's Croatia. Third much better for Croatia and let's not forget that uh, the German side lost their captain Julian Real is out with substitution after the third major fall and let's see the last quarter of this match and Croatia won the sprint has the chance to increase the lead. This can be the 98. I mean, this is the 98 games for Croatia in the history of European Championships. And this can be the 58th win for them. And I'm sure that we will have the 1,000 goal here in Budapest because they needed uh, at the beginning of the championships uh, 33 goals. So now they need 20 more. But this is just a number. The thing that is really neat for Croatia is the Olympic burst, of course, and the spot for Tokyo. for Croatia. The goal scorer is the number four, Luka Lonchar. And now, finally, he has his first goal of the game. And now only Marco Machan and Xavi Garcia has no goal. Actually, neither have a shot so far. <laughs> Was not a good pass to the center. A 
as before the tournament. It's a two-sack set. But, uh, until the last moment, they were kind of uh, trying to refresh for the tournament. And in the last some days, they were had some regeneration training and specific tactical tasks that uh, they intend to perfect. They were training a lot until the start of the tournament, until today. They had some days training together with France in Paris as well, before the Euro started. Uh, there is something that the Germans can enjoy. The sixth goal scored by Ben Reibel. Milosh. There is the exclusion from Josef Rulic. And there is the goal, a quick goal for Croatia, scored by Marco Macha. Marco Macha scores his uh, first goal now, so only Xavi Garcia, who has no goal so far. Creation number 12. Of course, for those who wouldn't know, Xavi Garcia, of course, from Spain, from Barcelona. And he changed nationality in 2013. And since that, he's competing for Croatia. A wonderful block. To the shot of Jokovic. Sorry, uh, Schulz. Anna Schulz. Milos. Only four seconds left on the shot clock, and the shot goes wide. But there could be a slight touch from the German goalie because there is the corner. That is the exclusion. So power play for Croatia, and there is the chance, but missed it. One more shot, and Schenke away, saves it. Xavi Garcia. And the third time, finally, the goal for uh, Luka Bukic. First time he hits the post, then the second saved by the goalie, and the third one one in. So this is the second goal for Luka Bukic from four shots. And now it's Croatia 16 and Germany 6. We have a bit more than three and a half minutes from the match. Ten goals difference compared to the last meeting of the two teams in the Euro. It was only five, six years ago. But 
uh, last year in the World Championship, there was only two goals in favor of Croatia. Germany scored by Morris Jungling. No chance for the goalie. The goalie went to the try to go to the right side, and the ball went into the left side of the goal. Morris Jungling is second in the match. Benic, Bukic, now to the center, and just a foul, no exclusion this time. Benic, and he hits the post, and the rebound goes to the Germans, exactly to Strelecki. He was born in Croatia, as his name shows that he is competing for Germany. And the goal for Germany. Goal number eight. Germans are trying to keep the Croatians really far from the goal. And now we're able to steal the ball. It's with Maurice Jungling now. Steal Jungling. And one more pass. Beautiful play by the Germans. And now it's the ninth goal for Germany. The goal scorer is Marin Estovic. The German head coach satisfied with that move against them. Under the last minute of the match, Croatia is leading by seven goals and now eight goals again. The goal scorer is Josip Vrilic. Nice move from Vrilic.
Bielen. There is the exclusion fall. No timeout called by the Germans. But this time the Croatian side asking that timeout. We have 20 more seconds left from this uh, match. And Croatia is leading by eight goals, 17 to nine. Doji, dobre, gada. Hey, Ante, znači sveda na šest, sve do zadnje sekunde doslovno. Široko, trojica, vanjska linija. Na šut idemo dvije, tri sekunde do kraja. Ukoliko ne damo gol da se odbije, izlazimo u presing na protivničke igrače. Ok, ajmo. Joke, ti na trojku, sredinu. Ajmo, idemo. Kom je vani? Bena, vani si, Bena. See what the Croatian team can make in this last 20 seconds of the match against the Germans. They have the ball, and now there is an empty net. The Croatians. This is what the new rules are allowed to the teams. We have the goalie out from the goal. Passing the ball well, and then the shot in the last second, but no goal. So the final result is Croatia 17 and Germany 9. The Germans started the match well. They were even leading after the first quarter, 2-1. to one. But in the end, 